I'm gonna give you the pros and cons of owning the Louis Vuitton double card holder. Every day we live. Hey, welcome back to my channel. Derek Van Shake here. Yes, the Louis Vuitton double card holder. As you can see, what I did was I just emptied out the entire card holder. I usually keep this thing pretty full. I usually keep a card in each one of these slots on both sides as well as an opening. I typically put dollars in there. Going right to the pros and right to the cons. Louis Vuitton double card holder is less expensive. It's not that expensive. That's what's really cool about it. You get a pretty cool piece of Louis Vuitton in their new print. That's the front and on the back, it's only $295. Yeah, it's quite a lot for just a small little piece of canvas, and maybe just a little bit of leather, but it is pretty cool. You get a little piece of Louis Vuitton for only a few hundred dollars. When I first bought this, it cost $290. So it went up five bucks since June of 2017. The build quality is pretty awesome. What I like most is that it's a solid piece, okay? It's not gonna rip, it's not gonna crack. A lot of times when you have like a typical wallet, this is one of my old wallets. It's a Calvin Klein wallet. My parents got me this for Christmas uh, a little while ago. See with this, see the open and close action? If you do that with canvas too long and it gets dried out, what's gonna happen is, is that this part, if this was canvas, like a Louis Vuitton wallet, it would crack. The cracking would lead to some of the stitching being pulled out just be a mess. That's the thing you have to be concerned about when you're buying a Louis Vuitton wallet that folds. Is that in a few years? Yeah. This point right here, that's the weakest link kind of thing. That will end up cracking. And when it cracks, the stitching will come out. And when the stitching comes out, <laughs> then uh, Louis Vuitton won't even touch it to fix. I learned the hard way. <laughs> I bought a pre-owned wallet, it started to crack. And I said, oh, well, you know, I'll just send it to Louis Vuitton and just have them fix it. Yeah, they don't fix that. Once it starts cracking, they don't fix the canvas. The next pro, it comes in monogram eclipse. This is kind of like the new, really cool pattern that Louis Vuitton does on their canvas. They're very well known for their brown version of this. This is kind of like more the masculine version. So you can get the new canvas, in a pretty cool affordable piece. This can hold up to eight cards, which is pretty cool. But the problem with that, if you put too many cards in here, what's gonna happen is, is that if you don't constantly double it up, this thing stretches out and then the cards will start to fall out, which is not a good thing. I would recommend just kind of holding just one card in each of the four slots. So two on this side and two on that side. Any more is things will start to fall out. Currently, the cards that I put in here don't really ever move around so much. Occasionally one at the bottom would kind of move up a little bit, but nothing where I actually feel like it's gonna come out and I'm gonna lose a card. You have the interior pocket as well, so you can hold some cash in there. So what I do is I put some cash right in the interior pocket, right like that and it just stays so nicely. I don't pay for anything in cash, so this thing works for me. That's something I'll get to in the negatives. This thing is thin. That's what's really cool about it. It is not like my old wallet. My old wallet, very, very typical wallet with the interior pocket with all the bills in there. You, know, you put this in your back pocket of your pants, even though it's it's a thin wallet, it's not that big. You're gonna feel it. You go sit down and then you have to like slide the wallet over from the one side of the pocket to the other so that it's not bothering you when you sit. But with this, like really, I don't feel it at all. Sometimes I totally forget about it. But it's big enough where it's not like I don't know I have it on me. I know I have it on me, but it's not so big where when I do sit, it just bothers me. I would recommend a lot of people going towards this and kind of moving away from the typical uh, old school wallet. I mean, really, how often do you use cash? You don't, it's just not worth holding that. It's so much better to go into something like this. Actually, cards are being phased out with Apple Pay and things like that, but you still have to have some IDs, and insurance cards and whatnot. So this thing just does everything you need it to do. Yeah, the design is a pro. I love the design. Well built, as I said, just a single piece of canvas that rolls over. See how it rolls? So that's a lot better than it being stitched because when it's stitched, those stitches are gonna be prone to being pulled and kind of coming out a bit. So the less stitching you can have, the better. This thing is durable as anything. Because again, it doesn't, there's no moving parts. There's no flaps 
There's no, none of that going on. With Louis Vuitton, resale is usually pretty good. This thing right now, as I said, it goes for $295. I bought it for $290. But if I were to sell this and I can get probably a little bit over $200 for this. It's in near mint condition. You know, you can see that it was used a little bit. Everyone says like, oh, you know, you spent all that money on that. Well, true, but I can go and sell it for something close to the price. And I get to use something that makes a statement as opposed to this old thing. It doesn't make any statement. No one really knows what this is. No one cares what this is. It's just a stupid black wallet. But with this, it's nice. Now the cons. The only available canvas is this monogram eclipse. So if you like monogram eclipse, hey, you're in luck. But if you don't like monogram eclipse, you're not in luck. The other materials that are available are like leathers, ostrich, some things that are a lot more expensive than this. This is the cheapest material, but if you're going to full leather, another $50. Ostrich, I think it's like $900 for something like this. $900. Pay $900 for a card holder. $290, yes. I'm, I'm like stretching here, you know? There's really not many cards. The other one is that it's not a wallet. It's a different lifestyle, you know? You have to get used to being very minimalistic if this is your go-forward wallet, especially as a guy. You likely won't have a purse unless you have a man bag or whatever you're doing. But if you just have just this in your back pocket, it's a different lifestyle because you don't have the big dollar bill holder. <laughs> this is your main wallet. You really have to be someone that just doesn't really ever use cash. And you shouldn't. You should really just put everything on the credit card. There's no real reason why you should be using cash because you get all the points with credit cards and everything like that. It doesn't make any sense to use cash. I would say for most people, this should be sufficient. Move away from cash. Don't do that to yourself. Don't worry about dollars and pennies and things like that. Not worth it. Just go with something very, very simple. Especially if you're a guy, you don't have like a purse or like a bag or anything. You just have your back pocket. Yeah, you don't wanna mess with cash. Have all your cards here. When you need a card, you have your cards. That's it. If you need more cards, what I would say, what I do is I keep all my other cards, all my other business credit cards kind of filed away in a locked safe because I don't really use them. I only put the ones that I use every single day here. I would highly recommend the Louis Vuitton double card holder in monogram eclipse. I think the monogram eclipse is awesome looking. I'm actually trying to figure out other products I can buy in monogram eclipse because I like monogram eclipse so much. It's like a masculine version of their iconic brown monogram that a lot of girls use. I really, really like it. And you will probably see me buy a whole bunch more monogram eclipse. So stick around, stay tuned. Like the video, give it a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the top. Came up from nothing. You can't tell me. Yeah, did it on my own. Check out my neck. Check out my wrist. Yeah. I swear I ain't never expected it to be like this. Now I'm getting rich. I swear every day we live. Yeah, every day we live.